What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. Today, I'm taking on another Pinterest legend, Painted Feathers. Yes, this project has been floating around the internet for years. It's been suggested thousands of times, but that's not the reason I'm doing it today. Nope. It's because Jacob just suggested it over on our brand new Threadbanger forums in the project suggestion section. What? Thanks, Jacob. Oh, you haven't checked out our new forum yet? Well, it's really cool. Yeah, you're missing out. <laughs> Now, painted feathers look kinda cool and everything, but what are you supposed to do with them once they're painted? I don't really get it. But the more I researched, the more I realized that there's tons of really cool things you could do with them, like this project. So, not only am I gonna be painting some feathers, but I'm also gonna be painting a stick. I just love a good stick. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Painted feathers hanging from a stick. You know, I thought this would be a really great way to end the summer. I know a bunch of you are gonna have to go back to school soon and that's very sad for you. So I feel like this project will really help us keep the summer vibes happening all year long. Cause you know how much I love summer. Halloween, Halloween. Luckily, I don't have to go very far to find the materials for this project because I'm kind of a weirdo and I collect these things on a normal basis. I don't really know what to say about some of these things, like this half of a bird wing I found is kind of gross, but I think it's gonna be very useful for this situation here. I'm actually a little worried I'm gonna get the bird flu or something. Can you get the bird flu from this? You sure can. You know what, I think I'm gonna paint my stick first because like I said before, I just love a good stick. Long sticks, short sticks, any stick really. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna start off by taping two sections of the stick like so, and then I'm just gonna paint it black in the middle part. When that dried, I took it outside and spray painted the ends gold. I love gold. Ugh, yeah summer. It is hot out here. And I have to do two coats. Lord, you're going down on Monday, son. Going down. The moon is taking over. This does take a little bit of time, but if you just stick with it, the outcome's going to be amazing. Yes, I know my jokes are stupid. You don't have to be such stick in the mud, Susan. I'm just going to put a little feather in my cap for that one. Okay. Yes. Once everything was dry, I took it back inside. And Can I pet the kitty? Oh, the kitty push. What are you doing? Sleeping. Painted another coat of black and then added some more tape so I could create a stripe on each end. I would just do this freehand, but I suck at freehand painting. This actually came out looking kind of crappy, but that's okay because I'm a perfectionist, so I can just take my time and use my little paintbrush to make everything look nice and pretty. I'm also adding a couple stripes of different colors, you know, to keep things interesting. And lastly, I'm just using this paint pen to create little stars in the black space. And basically that's just by making dots. Yes. Gorgeous. Man, I love painted sticks too. Alrighty. It's Feather painting time. Okay, yeah, I'm a little grossed out by this wing thing that I've kept in my house for years. I've actually never really took the time to look at it, but it's a little crusty. I'm kind of worried. Um, and I feel terrible about pulling the feathers out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this project is gonna turn me vegan. It's gross. It's really, it's really gross. And I need to burn all of this newspaper now. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna wash these off a little with my gemstone soap. Yeah, that's that's still around. See, we use our DIY projects in real life. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I'm just gonna let these dry out a little bit, which gives me time to paint my other feather. Hey, hey what are you doing? You be good over there? Doubt it. Rude. I'm actually having some feelings about painting this feather. I mean, it's kind of perfect on its own without a shitty paint job on it, but that's not what this show is about. We cater to your every whim and desire, so we're gonna paint this motherfucker. Sorry, feather. Your natural beauty will now be covered in acrylic paint. Yes, I'm going to start by painting the tip black, and then I just basically use my fantastic artistry skills to mix colors 
together and paint them on and layers and put in a little bit of white here and it's some Van Gogh shit, basically. Yeah, I mean, this feather looks pretty dang cool, actually. I'm not mad at it. Once it dried, though, it did look a little shittier than it had before, but I think it'll still work. Mm-hmm. Looks like you got in the paint there. Caught white-handed. Over here. <laughs> Classic. Shame. Shame. She doesn't care. Okay, I'm just gonna pull up the original painted feather picture so I have a little bit of guidance. And yes, I think I can do this. We take our paint pen and here we go. There are some tiny bumps in the road, but it's all good because you can just use some black paint and kind of fix it up a little bit if you make a mistake. The little dots are easy enough to do. And then we got these little triangles here. I'm fucking killing it, you guys. I'm fucking killing it. Have you ever seen a painted feather as beautiful as this painted feather? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. All right, actually, I think our little feathers are dry now, so I'm just gonna paint them a little bit because they're little feathers. Sorry, little bird. I don't know why you lost your wing, but I feel terrible about painting your little tiny wing feathers right now. <sighs> yeah, once they were dry, they, they're great, I guess. I found some of these white craft store feathers in the basement, most likely from Rob buying them for a project he just never did. So I decided to paint those up too, and they didn't dry as good as the feather I had, but I think it still works. They all look pretty dang cool. I don't know if you noticed, but I have some pretty good color blending skills. Yeah, if you need me to color blend some stuff, I'm your girl. No, oh, you're here still. Yeah, you. Okay, the last thing we have to do is just attach some clear thread to each of the feathers and attach them to our big stick. Fuck yeah, you guys. I'm actually really into this. I was not expecting this to be something that I actually liked. It, it came out pretty cool though. Who would have thunk it? Good job, me. And you know what? I would like to pass on this beautiful, one-of-a-kind piece of artwork to one of you. All you gotta do is leave a comment below telling me where you would stick it. And, and, I'll, and I'll send it to you. Well, I think that just about does it for this video. As always, we wanna know what projects you wanna see us try here on the channel, so leave your suggestions in the comments down below or over on our brand new forum, like Jacob did. Thanks, Jacob. You're a real team player. Also, we're gonna be doing our very first YouTube live stream tomorrow. All the details are in the description down below. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's sure to be a real show. You see how edited these videos are, right? As always, make sure to subscribe, like up this video, and I'll see you later. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, no. Hey, no, get down. Lord have mercy, down, down, down.